Welcome back everybody, it's time for another package unboxing and today we've got a couple things to look at and they all relate to some Glios. Back a few months ago, ever since the first Toyfinity dropped their brand new Mangalore Glios line, that thing sold out like crazy and they introduced us to a little pre-order for their next endeavor, the Proto Lord, which I finally got in, so I'm very stoked to check out the Proto Lord and his little mortals, the Proto Mortals as well. We'll be looking at that. We've also got a little eBay find that was pretty cool that I just thought you guys might enjoy seeing. And then in here, we've got the brand new Apocalypse Wave from God Beast. These guys look pretty dope. So we're gonna jump right into it, start opening these suckers up, but subscribe to the channel if you enjoy Glios and these toy reviews. If you like toy openings, Crazy Bones, or TCGs, make sure to hit the button turn on the notifications and stay tuned for more okay let's open them up got all our packages here we're gonna slide these to the side because we're gonna start with my little ebay find because it's actually been sitting in this package for like a month now and i was just kind of waiting for uh some different glass packages to come in or something to open this one up i forget this guy's name it is a god beast product so it is going on theme at least a little bit today with the god beast stuff it's an older thing though i want to say it's like a convention exclusive thing oh they're not even like in bags but here is the first guy. I gotta make sure all his parts are there. Looks like he might be, is he missing a leg somewhere? He might be. Is he only supposed to have one leg or something? Oh, I think, oh, his tail just holds him up. Okay. Oh, oh, he's actually pretty cool. All right, that's the kind of look that we're going for here. And his tail kind of holds him up in the back. You can see it's a nice little combination of a bunch of different figures. We got the Mooshies in here. We've got the bio monster dudes in here, the little creatures the bulbous creatures the wings the horns you name it in this nice little creature i believe these colors are like a con exclusive like i was saying i gotta confirm that i forget but it just looks sick i love the green i love the blue he's got a good little standy position thing going on here it looks really nice and actually i got a steal for this guy i think i only paid like 20 bucks for him and this other dude right over here which i'll go into but someone was selling another person that has kind of some overpriced glios products was selling this guy for like I don't know, close to 100 bucks, maybe like 80 bucks. So I don't know. You guys let me know if I got a deal on this guy, if he's a harder one to find. You can see he's a little beat up a little bit. Oh no, that's just his teeth. I thought he was missing some paint, but he's not. But overall, I think he's a really sharp looking figure. I'm going to leave him as is, honestly. I really, I really dig his look. I might even make more of these guys with some of my extra dudes. We'll leave him standing up over there. I guess we've got some extra parts that go along with the other figure, some extra little claws and looks like a little hip piece or whatever but i love the look of this guy man check that out oh my goodness it's got that nice like robo translucency bit to it i'll get the name of him too but he's a really cool one these are you know coming coming from like the drops that i missed before i got into glios that i'm just kind of happy that i can get my hands on now he's not made like the traditional way to make the bio creatures but I kind of dig it. It's very simple. It's very, you know, straightforward. He's got his feet for hands instead, but that's the, that's the beauty of Glyos. You can just swip swap however you see fit and it's going to look pretty cool. So this is a really sharp one. Again, that blue and that green, but we got the translucent green on this one and it just looks really, really sharp. I love the, the robotic thing up here on the top. Really cool. I've got a few other of these monster dudes that have that design and it's really cool i really dig it normally i would save the mangalore stuff to the end of the video but i'm actually really 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 excited to open up this proto lord so that's what we're going to do next and we'll save the the rest of the god beast stuff for the end i should have an egg in here i got another little mortal egg dude and then we got the actual proto lord himself so here's the egg i had already gotten a glow in the dark one so i just kind of wanted to get a normal one so this is the normal egg that you can store your little Mordells in or your Mangalore extra pieces, whatever you want. It's just a nice little kind of storage thing. It's a good aesthetic for the Mangalore set and the Mordells. I kind of dig it. So now I have the glow in the dark one and the just the regular version. Nothing too crazy. Here are the Mordells right here. Let's check them out. Oh, bang. They're all in that nice little packaging. They've got the same color tones as the Proto Lord himself. This kind of like beigey, darker toned green, kind of like desaturated green, but I kind of dig it. It looks, it looks pretty sick. Let's pop these guys out though. I ain't keeping them in the packaging. We'll kind of go through and check out the flavors of these guys a little bit. They've got all their different little faces. 
Oh no, I dropped one. Yeah, I do like the seven dwarves and just associate these guys with different things. Like this is like angry or something. This is also angry, I guess. This one's a little devious, man. He's a little devil deviant, dude. This one just can be grumpy, I guess. He's got more of the grumpy vibe to him. Definitely dopey, I would say for this one. Yeah, this is just another grumpy almost. I guess he could be sad. He could be sad dude or whatever, whatever his name is, saddy. I don't know. Smarty. Uh, he gives off a smart vibe, I guess. I don't know. I'm forgetting all the dwarves. Oh my gosh, it's been a while since I've seen snow freaking white. These are Mordells though. They don't need to be associated like that. Oh my goodness. This one looks sweet though. I kind of dig that guy's flavor. <laughs> He's pretty awesome. But this guy's just goofy. Listen, Mr. Longlegs himself here. That's all of the Mordells though. You know, simple as can be. We do get a little, what is this? Oh, Mangalore egg. Oh, okay. Wait, it's just this like what the casing would be in or something. I gotta open this up. What are you? Mangalore's egg. I love that. It's a nice little thing. We've got like a card in here. Looks like this, the egg would have been in like a plastic thing and this would go on top. Like this is the top card bit that would go on top of the packaging, but they used it to seal these things in. So what do we got here? Ooh, some extra little Mangalore cards, little sketch card things and everything. The artwork from the original drop, and this was kind of our teaser for the Proto Lord right here. That is really cool, a little like kind of business cardy type thing, but a little Mangalore version with that artwork. That's a very cool little extra bonus thing. Hatch the Horror Inside, Toyfinity LLC. Erwin Papa, he's got some uh, really cool, nice speed arts on YouTube uh, showing how he did the artwork for these guys. So go check out those. Erwin Papa, I think you can just YouTube Erwin and, and his stuff will show up, but he's got some nice videos going over how he did the artwork of these. Very classic comic book style, very much my aesthetic right there. Cool little bonus thing. I don't think there's anything else except the Proto Lord himself. Bum, ba -da bum, bum, bum. Here he is, the Proto Lord. He's got that nice dark green with that lighter kind of like, again, desaturated green. Very, very cool. Ah, oh, man, I've got, I'm, ooh, or dropping little connector pieces. That's not good. There are a bunch of little connector pieces, and we've got that little kind of, all right, just drop it out. Comes with this little kind of like eye thing or whatever, if you want to make more of like a monster effect going with uh, your Mangalore parts. And then we got the Proto Lord. But as I was saying, we've got, I've got all the Mangalords in my collection thus far. All the releases, oh no, Toyfinity, you name it, all the different color tones. It's really cool. I'm going to take a nice group shot for the Instagram after uh, this video here, cause it's gonna be legendary to see them all lined up. So follow me on Instagram right here, Lockdown51 on Instagram. Take a lot of toy photos. Toy photography is kind of one of my other hobbies I do. So go check me out there. But the Proto Lord is looking slick. I really, really dig this color. It makes him look really sharp, really, really sharp. Some of the other blends of colors uh, they've done for the Mangalord, uh, kind of kind of blend a little bit I would say some of them just make it so like some of the detail is lost this one just really pops really pops nicely a nice toyfinity look toyfinity hands ah oh, excellent excellent figure this is the antithesis of the Mangalord the arch nemesis of the Mangalord the proto Lord and he looks awesome got to get in those details on those calves those thunder calves over there let's flip their head around so you can kind of see that it's got that dark green. Now, I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, not a huge fan of that dark green for the flip side of the head. It works, like it, it definitely works. Maybe I could see on other things, but this is definitely the look right here. This is definitely what we, what we need. This looks way, way better. Some of the color tones just look better for this side and some of them just look better for this side. It's very weird actually. They don't like suit uh, both sides evenly, I feel like for the Mangalords. It's either one or the other. It either works or it don't. But look at this dude, man. Ah, I love getting these claw hands up here just showing off the excellent excellent design of these dudes look at the detail on the arm the forearm the back cowl the freaking shoulder the freaking abs on this boy oh my gosh dude it is awesome let's pop on the other arm because you know we've got our little other extra claw arm bang there you go check that bad boy out right there oh looking very slick very cool ah man the details are so nice on the proto lord here this is really really good very impressed by the color pathway they chose from toyfinity another excellent job by these guys i cannot wait 
to see what else they're going to give us with uh, color choices for the Mangalord because you know they're going to be doing more and it's going to be wild. It's going to look so, so cool. We need to get some like blues. I want some more translucency like the Onel drop. You know, we had this one from the Onel drop, uh, the Pyro one or uh, Pyronesis, Pyro Lord or whatever his name was. But like, imagine, imagine like a translucent Proto Lord, Mangalord in like a blue, a sharp, sharp, like Oh, such a cool blue or something, or just give me a green, green, green translucent would be freaking excellent too. But I cannot wait for surprises like that. Uh, people are getting on board with the Mangalord, that's for sure. Freaking great job though, guys. Excellent work. Now we can go into the God Beast stuff. Let's crack into this package, the Apocalypse Wave. I forget what wave number we're on now with God Beast, but it'll all be up in the title and whatnot. We're just dumping it all out. We got some sick looking red and black vibes going on in here, including we even got some of these packs, which I have yet to like actually fiddle with any of these parts. I have a couple of the mushis that include these wing parts these like sword parts they look amazing i want to kind of get them out a little bit more but i just never had time to kind of build with them or anything yet but these look super super enticing you can see we've got like a nice shield put like spikes on the shield and everything it's really cool these like kind of gauntlet gauntlet arms i guess you could say man i cannot wait to build with these things they look they look sick look at like extra kind of wing pieces or an axe head or something really cool maybe you can see it better with the red ones but they had a black version and then they also had the red version so you can see here we've got these kind of wing type parts and also like these giant like energy sword type things as well you can connect and fiddle with those in a bunch of different ways they're going to be pretty sick to to do stuff with where's the other ones here that's right there was like the apocalypse the reverse side so you either got like the black with the shield and the gauntlets and stuff and then the red laser swords and whatnot and then on the flip side you could get the reverse or vice versa and you could get this so this one will have the more black energy swords and whatnot and then you'll get like the red shield so there you go look at that red shield red gauntlety arms little like battle axe going on here there's so many parts in here i don't have time in a video to really look at everyone individually just know that there's some dope ones in here. But I will go through some of the black ones. You kind of get those classic little O'Neill packs right here with all the little ball joints and everything. More of the shields, you get like two of each. It's like crazy how many extra parts they give you. Marty just loads you up on these parts. It's absolutely fantastic. So as you can see, there's the black little energy swords and the black looking like feather wing, whatever you want to do with these things. I mean, the possibilities are endless. I've seen so many uses from so many creative people with Glios building. Some really unique stuff with these parts and i'm excited to do the same eventually when i have some free time all right so i forget which one is which but we've got the apocalypse and then we've got the reverse apocalypse basically it's just the flip side of either you got the black chest body and the red head or you got the red chest body and the black head for these mushies they look pretty dang sick i love the translucency look on these guys let's open them up this was a smaller wave for god beast uh it was just the mushi figures and the nemesis figures and then the extra parts there wasn't any more than that but i kind of liked it it was just a nice simple little wave of really cool nice guys we'll pop on his little horn head and there you go i think this one just looks so sharp oh I love, I love the look of this red. It's such a nice, nice red. A red that I think that we've seen very similar to in the past. The infection stuff, right? Yeah, like check out this armivore. So the very similar kind of really nice translucent red armivore that I have in the packaging. Another epic one from God Beast, Jason Fraley and O'Neill Design. Super glad to have this one in its full packaging from the C2E2 Expo. A very classic one from my heyday of comic book expoing but you can see it's got a nicer finish to it if you had compared the two it's got like a little bit sheener look to it it's not quite as foggy it's a little bit more jellyish on the red more of this strawberry jam type vibe and i am loving it looks incredible with this black too like really really dope can you imagine building this freaking guy out of these like that that's gonna be a sick build unfortunately he didn't have any of the monster dudes in this color yet so maybe in the future he can give us some of the little bio monster dudes in this hint hint i would buy the hell out of those monsters if he gave us those just saying marty just saying and here is our second one the flip side to this i gotta flip around his legs his legs are all flipped and goofy looking there we go. Now he's looking better, but check it out. We've got, again, the red chest. You can see it all put together, all nice and clean. The black helmet with those 
piercing red eyes looking very sharp with the helmet on this one and i'm so so tempted just to put all the red together and make a full brick of a jelly red figure mushi i think that would look excellent too but i i am more personally a guy of the aesthetic of breaking apart the colors so this aesthetic does work more for me than putting just a brick of red together uh, but it is an enticing thought just to see how it would look all pieced together like that personally though i i do prefer it kind of like this where you're splitting up the colors into two two different categories like this, kind of doing the reverse of each. But an excellent, excellent looking Mushi. I am really, really, really happy with how these came out. They look stunning. I know Marty is too. He was uh, hyping it a bit on Instagram. I guess he was pretty excited for this pathway, this color pathway for a while and he was happy to finally do it uh, as well. So go support and grab some of these guys. They still have them in the shop, as of filming this at least. But now we get to go into our little nemesis dudes. Always gotta build these guys up, same type of thing. We got the apocalypse, whichever one it is, and the reverse apocalypse of both nemesis figures. Oh shoot, I forgot about these guys though. The little Mushi buddies, yeah, check those guys out. I always forget their names, but we got both sides of the coin here for them both the red and the black flip side versions of the apocalypse buddies really 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 dope i love these dudes i gotta get a better like display for them. let me crack into the nemesis figures and get them built really quick who let me tell you it gets warm upstairs where i record and uh it's been a cold winter but it's finally starting to warm up so it's pretty hot up here right now it's like 80 degrees in my upstairs place where i record so it actually is helping me out a bit because it is making these guys easier to uh put together and fit together i'm not screwing up my hands entirely just trying to build a glios figure but there he is the nemesis apocalypse nemesis the reverse or not again I, I can't remember which one was the flip side of these but uh, a really cool nemesis figure again the the red the cherry red just looks so so nice on these dudes I mean come on right just look at that that looks excellente the claws the feet i mean yeah just a stunner right there i really dig it i just love the harsh contrast with this black i mean black it goes with everything right but on top of like this kind of translucent colorway of red I mean, any colorway I think would look really sharp with a black like this, but this, this is just nice. Of course, I forgot to show off the heads again, but there's our Mushi head right here, the little bug friend dude head. I'm a big fan of this head. And then we got our little insectoid head dude, which the red on this seems pretty light, honestly. It could be like a brighter red. I think that would have helped. It would have matched better with the translucent red that they got going on here. Bada bing, baba boom. There we go. The flip side to the apocalypse little nemesis dude with the black chest and the red shoulder pads and the red face, which looks amazing. Come on. That looks super cool with that red. And just so you know too, it's kind of hard to tell on camera and I didn't really uh, notate it in the beginning, but this black isn't like a matte straight black it is a semi-translucent semi-opaque black which does help with the aesthetic of these but if you notice right here you can see the red coming through on the claw underneath the black so it is it can get some light shining through the black here and it does make a really cool effect but it is hard to pick up on camera so just know these are a bit opaque of black they're not straight black but this one's just super cool really happy with these guys i think they turned out Excellent. You can see coming through on like the shoulder here as well, the little neck piece. But these guys just look freaking fantastic. The nemesis is, this is, is looking fire. Gonna look fire on the shelf too, on the glow shelf that I have to redo very soon because I have so many of these dudes. But that was it from this wave from God Beast. It was uh, a pretty really simple drop, simple wave, but a really, really sharp, good looking wave at that. So again, go check out the link right here. Go grab yourself some of these figures before they run out. I will say it seems like he's in pretty good stock of the Mushis and the Nemesises. Having trouble saying that word today, but for the extra pieces like these shoulders and you know the wings and the cool little laser swords, they are running low. He is running low on stock for those. Uh, so if you want any of those really nice cool pieces to add to your GLaDOS collection, make sure you go check out his store ASAP. But another really clean job well done wave for you, Marty. Good job. This this one looks freaking awesome. Definitely can't wait to see what next. And uh, definitely give us like an armivore in these colors or toss us a monster, man. Come on, bring back the armivores. I'm gonna keep bugging you, I swear. And also once again, go support Toyfinity. Link right here and in the description. The Proto Lord looks freaking amazing and the Mortals are a ton of fun. Just going with the Crazy Bone vibe that I always get hooked on. Go support them. They're, I don't know when their next drop is gonna be. I have no information on that. We haven't heard any news about when 
the next Mangalord stuff will be happening. They just finished, you know, getting these guys out and shipped out to everybody in the past two weeks. So it might be a little bit before we see another Mangalord. But hey, if you see this video and you're enticed, stay on top of it, man. Go follow them on Instagram. Look for when that next drop is happening. Here's the link. Keep it in your favorite tab, whatever you need to do. Don't miss out on the Mangalore fever that's happening right now in the Glios universe. Freaking fun as hell. That's going to do it for today. One more time, go check out the Glios Creators, God Beast, Toyfinity. Go support their work. Make sure you stay tuned for more toy reviews coming up soon. We just got an announcement from Biomaster of a new drop that will be coming. Very excited for that one, too. Not going to want to miss those, so hit the subscribe button one more time. Go ahead and check out some of these other videos here on the side. Some other cool suggestions like Crazy Bones or toy openings, you name it. If you haven't seen the most recent Onel drop that just came out a few weeks ago, check that one out as well. I appreciate you guys watching stay tuned for more we will see you guys in the next video